So we got ourselves some new gameplay from The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. I'm still on the fence with this game, man. The concept is interesting, but I need to see some more, man. And based on the thumbnail, we might be seeing a whole lot more. So saddle up, get prepped up. It's time to lock in, man. Let's see if this game can sell me. Let's go. Oh, we go into the Shadow Realms. What the? Yo! <laughs> Wait a minute. Volvegia? Oh, we're starting straight with some darkness. I like the soundtrack. Oh, shit. Oh, we go into the Shadow Realm. And they turn to stone, too. The land of Hyrule has been torn apart by mysterious rifts. This is like a space-time rift. Of Link and the King of Hyrule, both of whom were stolen away. Princess Zelda- Wait. Why the f*** is she so blurred? Like, is there like a- Wait a minute! Oh, I guess the edge of the map has like a blur. Maybe that's like the whole styling effect, but it's weird that it's impacting her model so much. I must borrow the power of an ethereal creature called Tri. Together, they enter the tear. Is this like scar the land a Triforce being? Her kingdom. On her journey, Zelda will explore what lies within the rifts. Navigating the still world. I like the way that sounds, man, and I like the way Zelda looking back, man, like she in a goddamn edit. Who gave you all this gas? What the? F and the try, like the tail looks like. The Triforce pieces, so like, is this the tri uh, like the Triforce sentient? Let's see what we got, man. I like the way they presented that just now. This is the still world. Here, trees, fragments of land, Interesting. people, and other items that were swallowed up by the rifts float in the void. This it's said they will eventually vanish completely. This exploring the farthest shit I gotta pause because if not I'll speak over him but this is giving me like the Twilight Realm vibes from Twilight Princess even the music the <laughs> the airiness <laughs> man the airiness to the sound so I do want to see how she traverses with just a table and try reaches of this world is no easy oh you can feat. jump to do so Zelda will have to traverse eerie floating terrain because the path is broken up, the echoes you've learned can come in handy. Okay. Forge your own way forward by creating echoes to use as platforms to bridge the gaps. Ah. Massive dungeons can also be found deep within the still. So then, is this like our um, Sheikah trials and the. I forgot what they were called in Tears of the Kingdom. Like, are they all randomized? Is there like a plethora of them? So maybe a hundred? It's interesting how this is a top-down Zelda using elements of both um, 3D Zelda in the way that they have shortcuts to Y and X, as well as... Um, actually, no, this is... Nah, I take that back because I just looked over to the far left and there's the D-pad where it has the wand. So this is all traits of Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom but in a top-down capacity. Very interesting. World. Zelda will use her wisdom and echoes to take on enemies and puzzles that stand in her way. Okay. Then confront challenging bosses who await... Nah, that's her definitely the, the friggin' hand ability. What to do, though? Boss? Overwhelm the boss with echoes? or combine them to find unique ways around the situation. I like that soundtrack. The strategy is yours to What the fuck? Yo! <laughs> and this is what I was concerned about, right? Like, how are boss battles gonna function if you have all these echoes? Like, would there even be a challenge if you can just make the boss fight one of your echoes while you sleep in bed like they're demonstrating right now? Like, there has to be a check. There has to be a limit to how, how cheesy an echo can be. Like, the boss has to get intelligent mid-battle. That's what I'm hoping. 
the still world can be accessed through rifts scattered across Hyrule. Okay. And each entry point leads to a location with its own defining features. On her adventure, Zelda must overcome dungeons within the rifts mm. and the mysteries they hold. Without Link or the King, Hyrule's fate rests squarely in Zelda's hands. Interesting. Sword Fighter Four. Whoa! So now we got a little bit of combat going on. We got a Sword Fighter form. When Zelda finds and picks up a mysterious sword, she takes on the Sword Fighter form, allowing her to attack directly. Interesting. With mighty power, she can forge ahead when her path is blocked. H how often would you use it though? Down enemies on her own, or battle alongside Echoes. Ah, now it's getting interesting. She can only stay in sword fighter form for a short period of time. Got it. When or where you choose to wield this power is up to you. This is cool. So it's literally the Breath of the Wild stuff. Like you can throw food, make a meat. Energy found in the still world. So be sure to grab any you find. That soundtrack's cool, by the way. Inhabitants of Hyrule. So we're going to meet more of the usual races and so on. Our Zora, Goron. Um, let me not let me not air myself out. I was going to say the 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 Rico. Who? The Rico? Is it Rico? The Rito. The uh. It's been a minute, man. Shit. This is Dompe. Okay, Dompe. Who crafts clockwork gizmos in Hyrule? His extravagant creations are called automatons, and they can be- We got automatons? What? They can unleash powerful effects that differentiate them from echoes. Interesting. But be careful. They'll break apart if they take too much damage. You'll Combat is going to be a snag, uh, 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 a bit of a, I was, was, is snag even a f word? <laughs> God damn. It's going to be a bit slower, especially since you have to wait for your, um, you got to wait for your, what do they call them, man? Is it echoes? You got to wait for them to do their thing, right? Like what, whether you summon a monster or you use an item as opposed to just like running in there and doing a quick slash and go. It's going to be interesting. A, a different change of pace. Ooh, we got some Gerudo, Goron. Great fairies? Yo, is that the damn, uh, the fountain from, um, the wetland area? What did, what did they call the wetland area? Oh my god, it, it hasn't been that long. Farron? Come on, man. Is it Farron, like, down at the southern middle area of the, the Tears, <coughs> Tears of the Kingdom map? God damn. Well, it's close to Farron. You can run on top of the trees, yo. You can swim. It looks like a charming game, I can't lie. On a journey to traverse and save Hyrule, Princess Zelda's wisdom is key Wait a to undertake it. Volvigia? Yes. Nani? The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Available September 26th only on the Nintendo Wow, Switch man. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo Wow. Nintendo. Oh, there's more. Hold on. I can't lie to y'all. That could have passed that. That, I feel like that's a spoiler they could have kept, man. Because if I would have came across that moment without knowing that was going to happen, that would have been awesome. But I guess you got to kind of sell the hype somehow, man. You got to, because it's it going to be hard to sell the hype with just Zelda spawning items and shit. So you got to sprinkle a little bit of Link in there. But yo, if that w if like I played the game not knowing that was going to happen, ooh, Zelda versus Link, bro. Oh, but of course. So Link is going to be on the side of darkness. We might have a rare occasion where Ganon and Link work together at some point which is interesting listen man the mechanics the mechanics uh, it, it's gonna take some getting used to but i could see the potential of it being a good game right i got no hatred for it 
The only thing that kind of threw me off was just like spawning any random item to do it. To get through any dungeon however you please, it has the freedom of a 3D Zelda but the design of the more linear Zelda. So that's what makes it interesting. And I know based on Breath of the Wild, when they go into a fully new engine, we're going to lose something. Breath of, uh, Breath of the Wild, we lost the, the intricacies of dungeons. No cap. We lost that bitch. The dungeons had little to no identity. I think with this game, we're going to lose the difficulty in boss battles, the difficulty in combat. Because if you're a very witty person, you're going to be able to cheese the shit out of this game, man. The worst thing they could have done was show me you can pull out a bed and sleep during a boss battle. I get it. It was for a joke. But at the same time, it proved my biggest fear with this game. The cheese and that you can do with the items, right? I'm a, I'm a boss rush guy. I like myself a good boss battle. The Yi series friggin fuels my blood, man. I'm that dude. I like difficult bosses. So that's going to be my concern with this game. It's going to be a very like casual energy in terms of dungeons and bosses. But we go and see, man, September 26th. I might be curious enough to buy, but in Toronto, let me tell you, man, Switch games be damn near $100 after the tax kick in. So is this worth $100? That's a story for another day, man. But listen, if you enjoying this video, tune in, man. Your boy just be watching videos, man. There's no rhyme or reason. So hop on in, show some love, and I'm going to hit y'all up for the next video, man. Peace out.